The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. This past Monday was my sister's 61st birthday. Hard, hard for me to imagine that. Being the only girl and the baby of the family after four brothers, Mary Angela, or Angie as we call her, has a pretty special place among us. One which we four brothers did not always appreciate, of course, as we were growing up. Now, when Angie was born, we were all pretty excited. I was only four at the time, and my parents were just overjoyed. In fact, when Angie was born, friends sent my parents a little toy telephone for her to play with. Inscribed on the receiver, were the words, finally, the right number. My dad finally had his little princess. In addition to celebrating her birthday this week, my sister is also observing Mother's Day today, being the proud mother of three wonderful children, two of them double domers, each having two degrees from Notre Dame, and all three are lawyers, together with their father. How my sister survives with four lawyers, I don't know, but she's handling it very well, she tells me. With these two special events in my sister's life, I naturally found myself last week at the Notre Dame bookstore, looking for the perfect birthday and Mother's Day card to send her. Searching for just the right card can be frustrating. Oftentimes, greeting cards speak of love as gushy and soft, abstract, and sentimental. But real love, the love of a mother or a sibling we know, is much more than that. The word love is mentioned no fewer than 17 times in our readings today. Nine times in our passage from the first letter of John and eight times in John's Gospel. The love of which these readings speak is hardly the soft, 
fuzzy abstraction found in the typical Hallmark greeting card. St. John today reminds us that God is love. And God's love was made very concrete and real in this way. God sent his son into the world that we might have life through him. The love of God became incarnate, became flesh in the person of Jesus, who gave us the commandment we hear in today's gospel. Love one another. How? As I love you. Not in some abstract, warm, fuzzy, gushy, sentimental fashion, but as I love you. For example, by laying down your life for one another, as I have done for you. Nothing abstract or fuzzy or sentimental about that. By forgiving one another, as I have forgiven you. Nothing abstract or fuzzy or sentimental or gushy about that love. By sacrificing yourself for each other, as I have sacrificed myself for you. By caring for each other, especially the weak, the elderly, and defenseless. By being patient with each other, by accepting each other as sisters and brothers, by being faithful to each other, by reverencing one another, by loving each other unconditionally as I love you. Nothing abstract or fuzzy or sentimental or gushy about that love. Love one another as I love you. This commandment takes on greater urgency in light of the many signs of declining respect for human life and dignity we see in our society today. Our love for one another is tested by the violence, greed, poverty, injustice, and moral confusion that surrounds us. In our relatively affluent nation, even in spite of these economic difficulties, it is estimated that over 15% of the general population lives in poverty, including 22% of all children under age 18, of which 20% under age five, allegedly are at risk of going hungry. In our streets and in our neighborhoods, here in South Bend and in so many other communities, violence destroys the hopes, dreams, and lives of too many children and young people. Too many of our families are torn apart by alcohol and drugs by infidelity, separation, and divorce. And many children grow up in environments learning little about self-worth, self-dignity, and basic human, let alone Christian, values. And how can we speak of love for one another when in our nation, over 1.2 million babies were destroyed before birth this past year by abortion. Christ commands us to love in a way which stands in marked contrast to these grim realities. 
At a time of rampant individualism, we stand for family and community. At a time of in intense consumerism, we insist it is not what we have, but how we treat one another that counts. In an age that does not value permanence, we believe marriage is forever, and children are a blessing, not a burden. At a time when the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer, we believe the moral test of our society is how we care for the poorest and weakest among us, especially the elderly and the unborn. No, Christian love, Christ's love, is not found in your average Hallmark birthday or Mother's Day greeting cards. The gospel love we are called to live is less a matter of feeling good as a commitment to doing good, a commitment to a concrete way of living, whether we feel good or not. It is a commitment to loving and caring as did Jesus, whose love and care knew no limits, no boundaries, no conditions. Love one another as I love you. No doubt the most difficult and challenging commandment we have from the Lord. But a commandment, Jesus promises, which if we live by it, will bring us a joy and a peace which no one or no thing can ever take away from us. What greater gift can we share with one another, especially on a birthday or this Mother's Day. <laughs>